From living in a rundown apartment in a bad part of town, to being a Hollywood heartthrob living in the fantasies of women worldwide, Sam Hewen reveals how being Jamie Fraser changed his life. While construction workers and teachers might not want to hear it, being an actor can be hard. Just ask Outlander star Sam Hewen, who struggled before landing the role of a lifetime. Anyone who's seen the star's hit show, where a British Army nurse named Claire Rendall accidentally travels back in time with her then-husband during a honeymoon to 1743 Scotland before meeting and marrying the dashing Highland warrior Jamie Fraser, would probably have had a hard time imagining that the square-jawed hunk, not so long ago, felt like a bit of a failure. The Scottish actor never had it easy. When he was a kid, his hippie parents were part of a commune-like community called Gandalf's Garden. That's right, they lived in something named after the Lord of the Rings character. In fact, that's how he and his brother got their names, from characters in the infamous fantasy book series. Things started falling apart when their father left their mother, leaving her to raise and provide for them on her own. As an artist and papermaker, Hewen's mom had a hard time making ends meet, so he was introduced to the lifestyle of just scrapping by at a young age. In fact, things got so bad that they lived in converted horse stables when he was in primary school. Thankfully for Sam, he was a gifted actor even as a kid, which scored him a spot at the highly sought-after Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama. While Hewen was able to find stage acting work, and some roles on television here and there, he had a very hard time finding any stable financial success, to the point that at 30 years old, when most people had established careers and were progressing in life, Sam was working as a bartender at a London pub and living in a rundown apartment. This was despite all the promise he had shown. In an interview with Tom Ellis from Square Mile magazine, Sam Hewen talked about that point in his life right before the actor landed Outlander. He touched on his situation back then. Sam Hewen said, Around 2014, I had a long period of auditioning successfully or mostly unsuccessfully, while in London and getting to know the casting directors. I had varying success, but I was also a jobbing actor. So I was working in bars as well, trying to support myself. My first tape of Hollywood was, I did a self-tape for Tron at the time of that movie. I was living in a really crappy apartment on the outskirts of London. There were drug dealers on my street. Hewen continued with Ellis, I remember having very little money to my name. This beautiful car turned up to pick me up first class, flown to Hollywood, staying in this amazing hotel. I remember being terrified that I had a driver when I got to LA because I'd read about tipping in Los Angeles. I only had $20 or whatever, so I gave him my last 20. I was like, shit, I'm staying in this amazing hotel, but I can't touch anything. I can't touch the minibar because I won't be able to pay for it. Think about that for a second. This man is undeniably a hugely successful actor right now. But back then, as a 30-year-old man, he had 20 bucks to his name. The things you sacrifice to follow your dreams. Sam continued his interview with Square Mile. I remember walking down Hollywood Boulevard and my phone rang. It was the local pub in London where I was working at the time. They were like, hey mate, you're five minutes late, are you going to be here? And I was like, no, I'm afraid I'm in Hollywood. It was a great thing that he skipped his shift, because that trip to Hollywood changed Hewen's life forever. Working on Outlander not only changed Sam Hewen's life by pulling him out of living paycheck to paycheck, but the opportunity helped him connect with his Scottish heritage. While talking with the Cultural Coven podcast, he confirmed that he always felt British. Hewen said, Growing up when we did, Scotland was stuck in a shortbread tin kind of world. I'd feel kind of twee. For the non-British out there, twee is a fancy way to say quaint or sentimental. Hewen continued, I never felt Scottish till I went to other places and people started seeing me as Scottish. Coming back to work on Outlander, I just realized what an incredible country it is and how much I love it. Reconnecting with his heritage also spurred Sam Hewen to be a supporter of Scottish independence from the UK. He made it clear that he was proud of being both British and Scottish, and that it has nothing to do with any hatred for Britain. Instead, it was about Scots having the chance to choose their own future for their democracy. 
Sam has translated his on-screen success to an active role in charity as well. In 2022, Ewan helped raise 590,000 pounds sterling, or $730,753, in addition to the $6.9 million up to that point. It was from his charity organization, My Peak Challenge. Founded in 2015, My Peak Challenge was started by Hewen as a nutrition, training, and support program that promoted wellness and a healthy lifestyle while donating the proceeds to charities funding cancer research. Hewen didn't stop there. Knowing that he was a bit of a smoke show, Hewen agreed to put himself up on auction for a good cause. In 2019, the Outlander star, in conjunction with Omaze, raffled off a date with him to the MPC Gala. He helped raise the jaw-dropping figure of $2,892,000, donated to Bloodwise UK that night. Hewen has ran in several charity races in support of testicular cancer and research programs. While Sam Hewen has a wonderful career and has enjoyed all the amazing work and opportunities that it provided, everything hasn't been all roses and rainbows for the man playing Jamie Fraser. In an interview with Today, Hewen opened up about the issues he's had and detailed them in his book, Waypoints, My Scottish Journey. Sam said, I think you know as a young actor, quite green, not really much experience, that there were a lot of pressures starting off in an industry I didn't understand. I think there was a certain body type that we were expected to have. I think women talk about it a lot. A lot of actresses have talked about the pressures they face, but I don't think men do, so I wanted to mention it in the book. Hewen opened up about the industry contributing to his developing an eating disorder, which is one of the things that led him to create the My Peak Challenge. The same book, Waypoints, My Scottish Journey, also chronicled an instance where he pushed himself to his limits. He took a 96-mile solo hike through Scotland's West Highland Way. 96 miles! Talk about testing yourself mentally and physically. While talking to WBUR Public Radio about the trek, Sam Hewen said, I struggled. I almost gave up. I found myself lost on the side of Loch Lomond in the dark, and it wasn't until I really sort of slowed down and enjoyed the journey that I began to appreciate the trail itself. Sam Hewen's long journey to success has been an inspirational one, especially for people with seemingly unattainable dreams. Before he scored the role of a lifetime, he was in a bad place. Most people can relate to being in a situation or time in your life when you feel unfulfilled or almost feel like a failure. But the Scottish actor story is, and should be, a reminder that wherever you are, it's not the end of the road. And as he said in his own words, you need to learn to appreciate the trail itself. So, from picking him up out of struggling financially and career-wise, to affording him the opportunity to help people and raise money for charity, playing the Outlander character helped Sam reconnect with his Scottish heritage while facing his own personal demons as well. And that's what Sam Hewen revealed about how being Jamie Fraser changed his life.